come in. Good morning, maid. I see that you're interested in a position swap, aren't you? I've read all about you, honestly. You are a maid from another kingdom that was taken as a prisoner of war. So that means you are probably planning some sort of assassination plot with this application. But I figure I should entertain it just to get to know you a little bit, right? Keep your enemies closer than you keep your friends type thing. So I will be conducting this interview. The application that you are submitting, this position is so exclusive. Not just anybody can end up being my personal attendant. You do know that's what you're applying for, correct? You are applying to be mine, always with me, 24-7, seven days a week. You never lie to me. You never do anything without my permission. You stand by my bedside while I'm asleep, and when you're tired, you go to bed with me. You eat with me. You go to all of my speeches. You sit on the throne with me. You're basically my advisor, but in made form, of course. You do understand that's what you're signing up for, right? All right. I see. So, did you just stumble upon this application, or what? You don't know why you wanted to, you just felt compelled to. I see. Maybe it's the benefits that draw you. Maybe it's not an assassination attempt. But we can't decide that yet. I need to ask you far too many questions. All right, well... Please state your name. Why? Of course I already know it, but I want you to do as I say. Doesn't matter how repetitive or how stupid. If I want it done, it gets done. So please, tell me your name. Thank you. You're so pretty when you obey. Alright, now tell me your birthday. Really, you were born on the same day as I. What year? Huh, you're the same age as me too. Perfect. That'll work out nicely. Maybe that's why you're so drawn to me. Same birthday, same birth year. We're basically twins if you think about it. It's just that my blood runs much cleaner than yours, for royalty at least. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, tell me your height, without the heels, of course. And then what's your weight? I know it's a touchy subject, but you're going to get to know me very intimately, so it's important that I know everything about you. Plus, don't take it personally. Looking at you right now, I am very satisfied with your form. You would make a great personal attendant looking like that, so please, just say. Thank you. You're doing such a good job. Anyways. So just one more time, let's go over the responsibilities of this job. You are essentially attached to me at the hip, and you are to obey all of my orders. You will have a probationary period of approximately six months, where I will be training you as my own. I know that you're from the kitchen, so you don't have any prior training in this uh, region of work, but that's a good thing. There's a reason why I conduct the interviews for my personal attendants, and there's a reason why I select them. You see, when you take somebody else's attendant, somebody who's already been trained once or twice before, they're no longer soft clay. They've already been fired in an oven, so they're not a very malleable mold. But you don't have any experience with this, so that means when I train you, it'll be the only thing you know. 
and that will be insanely valuable, considering that you are essentially a life partner to me, attached at my hip until I retire. Does that make sense? You understand that you are giving up all of your rights, correct? If I ask you to do something, you do it. If I tell you to tell me information, or if I ask you a question, you must answer, and you must answer honestly. On top of that, you have to learn several skills in order to be qualified for this, and I will personally teach you all of them. <laughs> yes, so you're still interested. Now, in exchange for giving up your rights as a human, you do have several benefits. As I mentioned previously, you will retire with me. So as soon as you get as old as I need to be to pass on the throne to somebody else, that's when you get released. And you have the choice to stay here for as long as you want as my attendant, or you can leave and go do your own thing. The royalty, the castle... We'll just sort out all of your expenses. You can go live in any house you want with as much food as you want. Hell, you could even marry somebody else. But that isn't all. For the time that you are serving me, though, you will sleep in the most comfortable and most well-guarded places in the castle. You will eat the most luxurious food, and you will be treated as higher than all of the other maids, servants, advisors, etc., the only person you won't be treated better than is me. You'll be above everyone else and below me, which is exactly what you're asking for in this type of position. You could never possibly want to be the most respected person and be my personal attendant at the same time. That just doesn't make sense. So if all of those things sound good to you, then we can move on to the scenario part of this interview. All right, so let's say that I spill something. What do you do? I mean, that is definitely correct. If you spill something, what do you do? Also correct. If we both spill things at the same time, what do you do? Ah, but you're forgetting something. You're above all of the other maids. Call somebody up to fix your mistake, and you can focus on fixing my mistake. Of course, in the actual scenario, I never make mistakes, so you will just clean. Got it? <laughs> all right, let's say that somebody is attacking me. What do you do? Mm, close enough. And let's say that I'm bored. What do you do? That's kind of a trick question. You haven't been trained yet, so you don't even know what I like in terms of entertainment. But you'll get there, I promise. Next, I give you a command that you can do, but it will make you extremely either in pain or uncomfortable. What do you do? That one's an obvious one, but you got it anyways, so I'll congratulate you on that. Being my personal attendant will be on a first-name basis. You can say my first name whenever you'd like, and I will only refer to you as your first name. There will be no formalities, no honorifics, or anything like that. I am not just the king. You serve me personally. Got it? All right, well, I'm just going to level with you. I'm quite fond of you, and I think you'll make a great attendant. So, let's begin with our first exercise, okay? First things first, I want you to look into my eyes. Yeah, I already told you, we're going to have to know each other quite intimately, so... You're going to have to be comfortable with all sorts of things. Looking into my eyes shouldn't flush to you like that. So come on. Do it. Look into my eyes. Yeah, just like that. 
I can see that it's already working. Your eyes are starting to get glazed over. You're starting to be pulled in, huh? My mesmerizing eyes have got you oh so focused. We're almost there, okay? I'm going to do a little bit of counting now. I want you to listen to my commands, okay? Ten. I want you to take a deep breath for me. In. And out. Nine. Really relax every muscle in your body. Feel yourself get lighter, starting with your shoulders, moving down your arms. Eight. All of your muscles start to go numb and then go limp. The fists that you've got unball. And now the relaxation moves down your torso. Seven. Feel that relaxation going down your torso. All of that tension just disappearing. Six. Yeah. You're really drifting away now. Down your legs. Everything just relaxes. And you can feel it going all the way down your legs to your feet. Five. Yeah. Just like that. With all of your muscles relaxed, you can feel yourself being pulled into the chair. Everything feels heavier. Four. That's okay. You're doing so well. Three. You're finally feeling so wonderfully relaxed. Your body feels so heavy that you couldn't pick it up if you wanted to. Two. And now your mind is starting to go away too. All of your muscles can't be reached, can't be flexed. So your mind is starting to give up. All of the thoughts leave your head until one. All that's left is me. All you need is me. I am the most important thing in your life right now. There's nothing on your head, nothing in your mind, except for me. Your dreams and goals have all gone away, and your muscles can't be moved for any other reason than my word. I control you in mind. I motivate you in body. I lift you in spirit. Now close your eyes, just like that. You're doing such a good job. You've drifted away without a care in the world. Now, this is the deepest state of hypnosis you will be in. It is a 10. At most times, I will keep you at a 2 or a 3, which gives me a lot of control over you but it leaves you as an individual. However, if you disobey me, you will be punished, and you will be forced into a deeper state of hypnosis just like you are right now. Right now you are basically a robot, programmed to work for me. But I'll give you back your feelings just so long as you promise to be mine forever. And when you're mine, nothing else matters. Even though you can think of your goals, your wants, your needs, they don't matter. They come second to mine. Do you got it? Now, come back to me. <laughs> you did such a good job. How much do you remember? 
like I said, I'm going to keep you awake because I like you. I want to get to know your personality, not just have a robot. If I wanted a robot, I would just make every single maid and servant just like I just had you. But I don't. That would be boring. People are more interesting when there's more variables. <laughs>